and welcome to today's vlog. Please excuse my crazy hair. If you guys saw my last video, I got stuck in a horrible rainstorm last night, wound up taking a shower and my hair dried natural and it dried quite crazy. So please excuse that. But it is now Wednesday. It is the last full day of our trip here to Florida for this summer. Tomorrow we have a flight home around 11.15, which I actually think I need to check in for. Um, no, I still have like 45 minutes till I have to check in. But um, tomorrow's our flight home. So today my mom is actually going to go take a little rest in a little bit. We actually just threw in a crock pot meal for dinner for tonight. We're going to have some friends come over around two o'clock for like a last pool day slash dinner slash hangout so she's going to go down for a rest in a little bit the boys are actually sitting and watching some tv and while they're doing that and they're content and my mom is resting i'm going to pack us up to go home tomorrow i just took out all of our laundry from the dryer so i need to go ahead and fold that i love going home with fresh clean clothes because then it just makes the unpacking process so easy i just have to take everything out and put it in its rightful place so I'm going to go ahead and fold all of that and then I will get my suitcase ready and get all this stuff in. I already did the boys' the snack bags and backpacks. I have their iPads charging right over here so that those are ready for tomorrow. Um, toiletries and everything I will most likely do later on in the day or even tomorrow morning. We don't really have to leave too early tomorrow so I can grab all that last minute stuff in the morning. But I want to have all the clothes and everything out of the drawers here and in the suitcase so that nothing gets left behind. So I'm going to go and start folding this and then I'll jump into packing. Let's do a little transition for the laundry. So here it is not folded and then and here is after. So this is everything that I just washed now folded. I have a few things in here, some underwear that are clean and our bathing suits. And then a lot of my outfits I actually never even wound up wearing. We didn't really leave the house much. So all my body suits, my shorts, my cover up outfits, those are all still in there. So I'm going to pull this out. I did lay out outfits for the boys for today. And I do want to lay out our travel outfits. I have like mine over here piled on some stuff. I want to lay out our travel outfits. So those are accounted for. And then... Um, get this all back in the suitcase. God, my hair is crazy but i just took a quick intermission in packing i wanted to check us in for our flight so now we're all checked in for that i have our boarding passes i paid for my luggage so now this is what i have left of the boys what sucks is that i want to put their shoes and their blankets on the bottom you can hear ben still has that gnarly cough um but we need that stuff tonight so I'll just throw it in the suitcase very lightly, check all this stuff off the list that I have on my phone, and then tomorrow morning I will load those last few things into the bottom of the suitcase, and I'm pretty sure that's it for our clothes. Okay, this is what we're working with. I still have so much room on the top for the rest of the boys' stuff, and their blankets, and my makeup, and my toiletries. I have that stuff pretty much packed, but I'm not going to throw it in here probably until the morning, and then I took um, a bunch of snacks that my mom had bought the boys that they really didn't eat too many snacks while we were here. So I took a bunch of gummies and Annie's bunnies and put them in Ziplocs and threw them in this top compartment here. This is empty now because it was filled with the boys' pull-ups for bedtime. Um, so yeah, this is done. I'm gonna go make some lunch for the boys and I, and then I will continue packing probably in the morning. Time to do all the final packing before we head out. I think it's around 7 a.m. right now and it was quite the night last night. I'll fill you guys in in a little bit if I can, but time to get dressed for the day and do the final packing. Okay, we are all packed up and yes, I'm flying home in the exact same outfit that I flew down here in. It is just the outfit I'd carved out for traveling. So it's all washed and clean and back my body to fly home today. Our flight is at 11.15 right now. It is... About 7.45 in the morning, um, last night, poor Benny 
Woke up at like 9.30 complaining that his ear was hurting, which I kind of knew that this was going to happen. Every time they get a cold or a cough or something, it winds up developing into an ear infection. So I think that's what the case is for Ben. I'm actually going to call their ENT when they open up at 8 and try and get the earliest appointment for tomorrow for both of them because Jack has the same cough that Ben has. So it's only a matter of time before Jack too starts complaining that his ears are hurting. Um, but Ben woke up around 9.30 last night and I told him to get into bed with me and I was nervous that he was going to be up crying all night which he really wasn't we wound up sleeping pretty good he slept all the way until seven o'clock i couldn't even get him up at 6 30 when i got jack up so i left him in my bed and continued the packing process hi baby but um we're all packed i'm just hoping to make it home safe and sound without too much trouble hi baby without too much trouble on the airplane with ben's ears even landing coming here he was crying that his ears hurt so i'm just hoping that they don't bother him too much taking off or landing or anything today. But I did give him some Tylenol. I packed it in my bag so I can give him some more um, right before the plane takes off or on the plane if he needs it. But yeah, I'm going to go drink some coffee now and double check my lists and make sure I have everything. And then I do need to put the car seats in my mom's car and then we can head out. Right. Time to get these into my mom's car that's over there. I just inhaled the granola bar to have something in my stomach until we get to the airport. Um, so far everything's on time, which I'm really happy about. So I need to get these in the car, load our suitcases and all our bags in the car, and we need to head out. I gotta put the car seats in the car. using that as a tripod. Can I put it back down, please? Okay. You saw a lizard. Grabbed to water. I have a little bit of a headache this morning from not really sleeping much. Let me see. Oh, I see him right there. What's he doing? He's a baby one. Don't scare him. It's sunny. You want to get in the car, baby? All right, here, I got your sunglasses in the car. Give me your backy pack. Give me this. So we are clearly home now. I'm actually upstairs in the boys' playroom because they're downstairs playing with all their blankets and everything and watching some Mickey Mouse. So I came upstairs so that I could take this vlog clip in peace. Hold on, my camera 
looks a little dirty but we are clearly home now and i wanted to end off this vlog with a little update on how our travel day went yesterday and then update on what's going on with the boys because they're sick again and if you guys saw my last few videos you would know that ben really wasn't feeling great he had a little bit of a cough that started maybe like day three of being in florida um i think around friday um and then he did have a fever over the weekend and then i think jack started with a cough on monday or tuesday um and then if you guys i think it's in this video um yeah the day that we packed up to leave so thursday Wednesday night into Thursday, Ben actually slept with me because he really wasn't feeling great. He woke up around at 9.30 crying that his ear hurt. And so he slept with me Wednesday into Thursday. Yes, and then yesterday we flew home and then um, his ears were hurting a lot on the airplane. All things considered, of course, traveling went really well with them. It's super easy now at this point, but take off and landing, he did complain that his ears were hurting. Um, and then they fell asleep in the car right home yesterday from the airport, excuse me. And then when we got back and Jack woke up from that little nap in the car, excuse me, he, um, started complaining that his ears were hurting. So the boys actually have not been sick since May and May is when they got cleared from their ear infections. That was like the point that they finally no longer had ear infections. If you guys like are familiar with my videos and watched me all throughout the spring um our last trip down to florida is when this whole ear infection saga started um jack started there and then after that it was february march april and into may that the boys had ear infections we could not get them to stay away we were seriously going to the ent every like 10 or so days for them to be checked and then they would have to get on another round of antibiotics so that we dealt with all the way through until May and then May the boys got cleared and they have not been sick since May because they didn't go to camp this summer and they've really just been home with me. Um, they haven't been exposed to much, but I think traveling, they got exposed to something, got a cough and a cold, and then the congestion settled in their ears, which was the issue that we were having back in the springtime. Anytime they got a little bit of congestion, their congestion was settling in their ears. So we, I literally called the ENT when we landed yesterday back at JFK. We were still on the airplane waiting to deplane. We had seats pretty much in like the back of the plane. So I knew it was going to take us some time to get off of the plane. And I literally called the ENT from the plane and got an appointment for this morning at 7.30 in the morning. So it is now 10 o'clock. We're finally home from that. We had to go to the ENT. We had to go to CVS to pick up the prescriptions. Um, they do both have double ear infections, which my boys, like when they tell me their ears hurt, I know without a doubt that they have ear infections because they're very in tune with it. And I trust their word when they tell me that their ears hurt and their sleep is always disturbed when their ears hurt. The first day that they get an ear infection, they never sleep. They always have a hard time because it hurts so much. So um, Ben's ear infection was much more progressed than Jack's because Jack is like three days behind in that cold from Ben. Jack's was just now starting. So I'm really glad that we were able to get this caught and start them on antibiotics. So I just gave both of them their first round of antibiotics for the next 10 days. And then we go back in 10 days and they get checked again. Um, but I really am feeling like in my mom heart that I really want to try and advocate for them to get the tubes put in their ears, their adenoids taken out. And then we were supposed to do a sleep study to see if they had sleep apnea, which they both snore quite a bit and their tonsils are very enlarged, but the ENT won't remove the tonsils if there isn't a real reason. They need like a diagnosis. So we were supposed to do that sleep study back in June, but because we really weren't having any issues with anything, the ENT said we can hold off maybe until the fall. And now because this is their first time getting sick and it turned into ear infections, he too feels like maybe surgery is the route that we're gonna have to go, but he wants a diagnosis for the tonsils before he goes ahead and does the surgery so he can do all three at once. So I did call another sleep study place today and I'm waiting to hear back from them to get them in for a sleep study hopefully sometime in August, if not September. And then most likely this fall, they will need tubes 
tonsils and adenoids removed. So that is what I'm dealing with right now. They definitely are in better spirits. Um, I'm, I feel happy and comfortable knowing that I'm at least getting antibiotic surgery on them and this will be cleared up without a doubt in the next like two or three days. But it made for an interesting travel day home. I was super stressed because if you guys are familiar with my last trip to Florida back in February, we had to delay coming home because of Jack's severe ear infection. And I was like, I just want to make it back home. I don't want to have to be canceling flights and switching flights and dealing with it. So I really just got the boys on the plane and flew home with it and knew that once we got back home and deal with it, which is exactly what we're doing. So that's an update on our travel day. I feel like I didn't get a lot of footage for this vlog just because the last two days were a little hectic and crazy. But now that we're home today, I do wanna finish unpacking. I started a little bit yesterday. I have the boys laundry in the washing machine now. So I'll probably vlog me just unpacking my suitcase and round off all of these Florida vlogs. And then I will get this video up it is only friday now but i had a different video planned to go up today thankfully so this video most likely you guys are seeing me on monday so i'm gonna go sit with the boys for a little bit get some coffee and yes i'll not finish my coffee switch over the boys laundry and then when that's all done i'll fold that and we will unpack everything okay the lighting is not great in the boys room i am way too lazy to open up their blackout blinds to get good lighting in here but it is now two o'clock. I finally am done doing the boys laundry. I just took it out. I wanna go ahead and fold this and then unpack at least everything of theirs from the suitcase. I will probably try and do mine. All of it is clean, so it's not really that demanding. Um, but I do have plans with my friend at 4.30. So I'm going to try and get this done quickly, um, the folding and the unpacking to whatever degree I do it. And then I need to go ahead and get myself ready.